think it works for the people who go to the public space. You know, you know, it's a little bit like um, Versailles. It, it, you know, for Marie Antoinette, I bet that she felt that her garden and her, her fake village, um, for her, those probably felt real. For any actual villager who maybe saw those villages, you know, her village, they would have been enraged. And I, I think that would be true of Facebook. You know, Facebook is in Menlo Park, um, near some of the poorest parts of Silicon Valley, but it is walled off from those parts. If you, you drive through East Palo Alto to arrive there, it's a very diverse and impoverished part of the valley. And once you get there, it, it's behind the walls. It feels real, but it's like being inside Facebook is like being in a city where they've taken all the poor people away. You know, there are no homeless people. Everybody's happy. Everybody has enough money because you don't need money. You want a cup of coffee? You go to the Starbucks. Facebook picks up the tab. You don't pay for it. You want a taco? Go get a taco. It's free. There are no poor people. No one's lying in the street. So I think it's, it's a lot like Marie Antoinette's village, the, the village in, inside Versailles. When you're in Versailles, it's beautiful. It feels like the whole world. But for regular French citizens, not so much.